This is our first really interesting 2080 Ti failure. It's not a BSOD on this one. We already talked about that. The BSODs are largely caused by, I mean, there's a reason there are multiple monitors here, largely caused by monitors of high refresh with G-Sync or just sometimes random monitors. This one, however, is an issue because Time Spy and actually every game, every 3D application, they're all running really slowly. And if you look at the frequency, that's because the clock is stuck at 1350 megahertz. So we're gonna show you how this particular bug on the 2080 Ti's works today. Before that, this video is brought to you by Thermal Grizzly and their high-end thermal compounds. Thermal Grizzly makes cryonaut paste for high thermal performance and conductivity without being electrically conductive. So you don't have to worry about shorting components. Cryonaut is particularly good for replacing stock GPU pastes as cryonaut is a non-curing compound. Learn more at the link in the description below. This particular card with the 1350 megahertz lock, it's not ever boosting above 1350. And if we overclock it at all, like 10 megahertz, it'll instantly exhibit issues. And I'll show you that in a moment. But the card is an EVGA 2080 Ti XC Gaming. It's not the Ultra, it's a two slot card. Uh, it uses the reference PCB. That's the common thread between all of these. So we have a bit of sample bias because we're in the US and most of the people who sent us cards are in the US. EVGA is the dominant vendor here. So most of the cards are either NVIDIA FE or EVGA, but all of them use the reference PCB, all the ones we've received. That's why we've got a stack of FE cards. We have some EVGA cards, some Gigabyte cards, and we have more coming in. But this one's the only one that does this. So let me walk you through exactly how this works. We think it's almost certainly a vBIOS bug. We wanted to film this before validating that because there's no going back once we fix it. So here's the issue. Right now we're running TimeSpy. I've got two monitors hooked up just because that was a common multi-monitor BSOD bug, but we're not experiencing that with this one. This card is getting away with it. So uh, if we go to sensors, you'll see GPU-Z is reporting a 1350 flat clock, EVGA Precision 1350 flat, and the temperature, if it can be trusted, is shown as 60 degrees on the GPU. And we're also fairly confident that the VRM and the memory is doing just fine as well. So this is some other issue, and if you look at the power target here, the slider can't move at all. It is immovable, and this one can move, but the power target can't. Also, the power target always says zero. So even if we unlink them, it always says zero. So you can't go up. This is clearly some kind of bugged vBIOS, or almost certainly anyway. And the fans, uh, this is just more of a, a precision bug, but they seem to be showing zero RPM. However, we have had issues where this card's fans sometimes weren't spinning up at all because the frequency is so low that it's really not doing enough work to generate any heat as evidenced by the 60 degree temperature. Uh, and this is after a clean install. This happened on the customer's card as well before, I mean, it is the customer's card on their system before they sent it to us. So what I'm gonna do is just 25 megahertz offset. This frequency should easily be at like 1900 megahertz. So we're around 600 megahertz below where we should be on the 2080 Ti. So we're just gonna do a 25 offset and we'll get the camera pan up to the top screen before I hit apply. And now I am going to hit apply. And let's see what happens. So far, the other screen is frozen. So that's a good, oh, we're, yeah, we're getting freezing on the bottom. Okay, it's back, kind of. Uh, okay, so now it's freezing. See that stutter that just happened? If we go back down to the bottom screen, we've got a spinning Windows icon, precision is crashing, and we're still seeing 1350 megahertz in both applications, GPU-Z is a lot is not responding either. So both those applications have crashed or are in the process of crashing. And then now we're getting a full system freeze when I try to close that. Now we get a black screen. Okay, so it didn't stay on the black screen this time like it has in the past, but everything is still locked down and frozen. So this is just from trying to do a 25 megahertz offset. And sometimes it'll actually kind of stick, but it stutters a lot. So let's show that behavior too. Okay, so it's back open after a reboot. We're just gonna do a 10 megahertz offset on the core now. And there it goes. So there's, there's the example of the other behavior where you can see it's just stuttering for like half a minute at a time at this point. And it'll eventually draw a frame, but it's skipping 99% of them. So at this point, this is unrecoverable. We can't restore to defaults or provide any input, we'll have to hard reset once again. And now it's time to probably 
flash the vBIOS and see if that fixes it. And here we've gotten, I didn't hit the reset button yet. So we've gotten just a straight black screen. Okay, restart. So one last thing to show here before the flash. This is an XC Ultra that passed successfully, no issues with that card. 65, 20 points on that one. And then on the card we've been testing, and on this card, we're at 5,200 points. So clearly it's scoring lower as well if you allow it to actually complete, and that's because the frequency is extremely low. So let's flash BIOS then and see if that fixes this. Update successful. Okay, let's reboot. Well, didn't work. So it's still stuck at the same issues. Right? The power target is zero. We can't increase it. Afterburner doesn't know what to do with it either, so that's not working. The uh, clocks should be the same as they were. I'll just illustrate that. And so we're left with an issue where it's either an in-silicon error or it's like a, a BIOS chip error. Some kind of hardware level defect is most likely the cause here. This is not a driver issue. And clearly it's not a BIOS issue because we took a known good one and we flashed it, and that should fix it for sure if it's a VBIOS corruption issue or something like that. So uh, let's, let's give this one more chance, though, and see where it boosts to. Yep. <laughs> 1350 megahertz. So it's still broken. So this card, this is card uh, B1. That's our labeling. We have labels on all the cards. So B1 is an EVGA 2080 Ti XC gaming. It seems to have a VBIOS defect. Maybe it's not boosting the clocks over 1350. Power target can't be changed. The fans act kind of screwy sometimes, and the scores are low. They match the frequency. So this isn't just a reporting bug in software. The scores are actually significantly lower, which is important to validate, because otherwise it can just be a software reporting bug, which is not what this is. This is some kind of probably hardware level defect, and there's nothing, at this point, I don't, I don't know what I can do with it. So we're going to take it apart, probably, Take a look at it, see if there's anything really clear and visible. And uh, otherwise, I don't know, we'll look at the next set of cards and start seeing if we can draw some conclusions what's happening to them. We have a lot. So these are FEs, need to look at those for primarily artifacting issues that you all have reported. And then we also have uh, another EVGA card. We've got a gigabyte card, so lots to go through. but. Anyway, I guess all this really shows you is that, yes, this is a real problem. It's not just people making stuff up on Reddit or something. Uh, we were able to validate this one. We were able to validate the BSODs. And we're going to see whatever, what other kinds of weird errors we can find on the 20 series, I guess. Seems like there are quite a few, though. So this is an instance where, at this point, we, if, if we can't figure out what to do with it in the next few days to fix it, probably we'll recommend to the customer to just RMA it. And EVJ is good about that. They'll definitely take care of the customer. but. Ideally, it doesn't happen at all. So whose fault that is, we're not clear right now. Uh, it is a reference PCB, which is made by NVIDIA's team. So we'll see. We'll see if there's a common thread. But thank you for watching. If you want to support more content like this as we dig into the rest of the customer cards that were sent to us on loan, you can go to store.gamersnexus.net to pick up a shirt like this one, or you go to patreon.com slash gamersnexus. Subscribe for more. I'll see you all next time.